Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, Topic 5.4, The Impact of Agricultural Practices. So in the previous video, we spoke about uh, the Green Revolution and talked a little bit about some of the agricultural practices. Today, um, we're going to focus a little more on those methods and whether they increase crop yield and, of course, some of the uh, downsides and the impacts for those. So the strategies that we've been using to help uh, along with the, the Green Revolution is going to be tilling slash and burn and fertilizer changes. So we're going to focus a little more about these today and try to discuss a little bit on uh, the impact that's had on yield. So tilling, of course, allows for the soil to loosen. So you have these machines now and what they do is they dig into the soil and they help loosen it. And of course, they help put the seeds inside uh, the ground. And so that helps suppress weeds um, and it helps aerate the soil. But of course, you get the negative impact of disrupting the structure of your horizons. In other words, those layers of the soil that we mentioned previously. And of course, increasing your runoff and erosion. Okay, and then here we're talking about slash and burn forestry. So what that means is that can be a forested area or a pair of an area that already has crops in it. And what happens is um, you grow the crops and of course you want to try to replenish the soil. So one way you do this um, is by burning the forested area or the crops you had. Now, after that's been harvested and cut down, um, the ash from the burn helps refertilize a little bit the soil that's there. Now, of course, you do have some negative impacts uh, where your CO2 emissions are going to go way up, right? And now you're going to reduce an area that you're going to have that would have been a carbon sink, right? And of course, if this is done uh, as it is normally with forests, you're going to have deforested an area. And of course, you have all sorts of sulfurs and other pollutants from the smoke as well. So um, while there are some benefits to it, there's definitely downsides to slash and burn. And then, of course, fertilizer. So we've uh, uh, one of the things that we've done is that we need a lot of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, otherwise known as NPK. Well, um, the NPK in soil, we need to add that if we want our fertilizer, if I want our plants to be grown. So what we've done is we've made synthetic fertilizers. You can have natural fertilizers like compost, but um, or use manure, but a lot of the time now is humans have been uh, synthesizing that by making uh, nitrogen and phosphorus based synthetic fertilizers. Those are dangerous, number one, um, and of course um, that's going to be the big problem. So there have been several cases of explosion, explosions in fertilizer factories. Uh, most recently in the last, I think it was 10 years, um, there was a factory in West Texas that exploded because it was making fertilizer and you know that's a dangerous thing. And of course, once you add too much fertilizer, that can lead to eutrophication. That's going to lead to too much nutrients being poured into the water of an area. And um, ultimately, you can end up having unwanted plants do well in fertilizer too. So you're going to have to do a lot of weeding and or use more pesticides in those cases. So here's some other resources uh, that might help you with this topic. And so uh, please make sure to look at those and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.